<laughs> Welcome to the 31 Nights of Magoween! Every day in the month of October, I will review one spooky, scary movie! Come and join if you dare! <laughs> There's so much to say about Apollo 18, but yet so little to say. It's a film when it came out back in 2011, I wrote off as a lazy attempt to be a sci-fi found footage film. Like, not even film, a B-movie, and moved on. But a few years later, I saw the film on Netflix and decided... Why the hell not and watched it and i have to say this is an okay film it's not like a bad film at any means but it doesn't do enough for me to truly stand out on its own starting off with the plot that's one aspect of the film i'll give the most credit with its story and concept being an avid fan of conspiracy theories the fact that they decided to make a film about a secret apollo 18 mission that in reality never happened and to the point where real theories were made as a result of this film that made the nasa themselves come out and calm everyone down is just a testament to good execution and how to make an intriguing concept and just have absolutely killer execution however the same cannot be said about the rest of the elements of the film the characters of Valentina are some of the most forgettable characters i've ever seen put to a film in a horror movie to be honest i don't even remember their names might as well call them red shirts number one through three the horror elements were hit and miss. The whole horror was built on tension and the fact that the film makes you figure out that the aliens are the very moon rocks that they're collecting in their probe. And while yes, it's very clever to have the viewer deduce that on their own, it's still very underwhelming and kind of dumb to have moon rocks be this violent killing machine. Well, I mean, I guess that, that can make sense because the aliens are, but whatever, shut up, mind your business. And lastly, the ending of the film was just plain disappointing. They built up a good two-act structure, but when it came to the third act, I say that's the film's biggest weakness and brings us down tremendously. It kind of ends in that all is lost, and that's it. It's like, end, end credits. I'm like, wow, that's very uh, disappointing. Apollo 18 was released on September 2nd, 2011, with a budget of $5 million. After his run of the box office, it will go on to gross $26.2 million. Overall, while it has an interesting plot and concept apollo 18 just doesn't stand out enough to be a memorable horror film to quote jeremy johns you won't remember this film in t-minus one day and i'm going to give apollo 18 a six out of ten stay tuned for night five